Hi and welcome back to Bride Society. Now today we're talking about garters, which is probably one of the most common wedding traditions that you've heard of. Now traditionally they were a useful item to keep your stockings up so they didn't fall down, but now they're a lot more decorative. So we thought we'd have a look through some of our favourite um, ideas for different styles of garters and share those with you today. Yeah, yeah, because there's a few different ones around yeah. now, isn't there? And I think we have quite a like idea in mind of what a garter looks like, yeah. but I think that is much more the traditional looking ones. And so I think, yeah, there's some nice ones out there on like Etsy and not on the high street and that kind of thing that are kind of more creative and, and things yeah. as well. So yeah, so we thought we'd bring some of those to you. <laughs> yeah, as we're starting up the traditional yeah, end. So one's yes. a bit like this. <laughs> courtesy of Debenhams so um, yeah for ones at the kind of more at the lower end price point I think how much was this one? Uh, this was £15 from Debenhams yeah. in the Janet Rager 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 range we'll link yeah. everything below <laughs> that we talk about yeah. yeah so yeah the sort of more traditional ones and it's quite similar to the one I want so I have uh, mine as well but mine was a Ted Baker one as well but from Debenhams um, but I actually, shall I tell my story now? Tell your story. <laughs> I actually got two because I got this one that I wanted to keep for me, but I also bought like just a slightly cheaper one because my husband and I decided to do the garter toss at our wedding. So I'm assuming like, if you're North American watching this, you will know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about, but as a British person, you probably don't. I don't think you knew about this before. No, no, it's not something. Yeah, that I cross her mind, so... No, no, not, not me, before I met my husband and went to family weddings of his, because my husband's Canadian. And, uh, yes, and so the first time I went to a family wedding with him, I think it was in uh, Ottawa, uh, to one of his cousins, and, you know, they had the, the wedding day, and it was the reception, like, party time, and, you know, and they put a chair in the middle of the dance floor, and I thought, oh, they're playing some kind of game, like, or whatever, and the bride came and sat on it. And then they called up for like all the single men to get around the dance floor. And I'm like, okay, I have no idea where this is going, but still just assuming it's some kind of game. And and anyway, so then like the groom then comes like into the stage area and like get got down on his hands and knees, proceeds to like lift her skirt up and like go under there. And I'm like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Like, her grandmother is sat right there. What is going on? Why is no one else freaking out about this? <laughs> and so, anyway, so the objective, apparently, is that the groom is supposed to remove the bride's garter with his teeth, typically. Wow, oh, okay. Yeah, and get it all the way off, no hands. And then to then toss it over to the single men, much in the same way that we would toss our bouquet to the single uh, okay. ladies. Yeah. So it's sort of the male equivalent of it and then the like the woman who catches the bouquet and the guy who catches the garter then as it's like have a dance and then theoretically then they go off and get married one day. Right? Okay right yeah so it's quite sweet but an equal awkward. opportunity. <laughs> And also, if you've got a fitted dress, that's going to be a challenge. That is going to be more challenging, yeah. You might have to, like, allow hands to be yeah. <laughs> more rather than just teeth. But, um, yes, and my, so my uh, now husband was like, we're not having a wedding if this can't happen. <laughs> I was like, fine, but I'm warning all the guests that are a certain age that it's going to happen so there's no heart attacks on the day. <laughs> but, um yeah, but we did go all out on it. You did, and you, there were several other objects. There the were, yeah. <laughs> we played like Mission Impossible music, and uh, I had quite a big dress, so it was quite easy for me. Like, to, so I like went on with like um, a bag hidden up my my skirt with a whole load of other objects <laughs> from like giant chocolate Lindor bunnies to I don't know Starbucks T-shirt was in there, like all kinds of <laughs> things. So you kept pulling them out, and then at the crescendo of the music, but, like. Garden, so. yeah. yeah, so you see, it's, it's, there can I'm be so much more to it. Yeah. <laughs> so, back to the different styles. <laughs> yes, so, yeah, I really like some of the, like, the more, like, embroidered ones. Yeah. Like, so not just kind of a piece of lace, mm. something a bit more intricate, delicate. Um, it could match maybe your dress, it could coordinate. Yeah, no, so, well, as I insert some of the ones that we're talking about, yeah, so there's a bunch of uh, see some of these embroidered ones coming up, and so they're from like not on the high street Etsy, they're just kind of places. Then we've also got 
like the beaded. Yeah, one. so there's some really intricate ones mm. that are quite, um, I don't know what the right word is. Well, very ornate. special. Yeah, ornate, um, extravagant, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think something would go quite well, and I think on here as well, there's something that kind of would match the like belt that you might want to yeah. wear, like to sort of be decorative on your dress. I worry slightly that it would like snag and catch on like yeah, the inside of your dress and like, or your other leg even. <laughs> I'm not sure they would be the most comfortable ones to wear perhaps. I think they're the ones as well, maybe um, you wouldn't want to go off with some single man at the end of the night, as in the garter, not you. Um, <laughs> that would be an interesting <laughs> turn of event for the wedding. It would. Uh, that might be more of a keepsake that you want to yeah. wear for after the wedding, because I can imagine they're probably on more on the higher end of the price point. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing, yeah, that's why I kind of just got like a cheaper one that I was happy just to costs but yeah like holding on to things as keepsakes. I mean in the same token I got a different bouquet to throw as well because <laughs> I wanted my bouquet. <laughs> That's fair. Um, and there's also another way if you're doing the tradition of kind of something old, something new, something borrowed, mm. something blue, quite a few of the garters had some blue ribbon. Mm. Um, sort of worked into yeah, the design. Into it, so that could tick off a couple of those yeah. um, depending on if it was new, borrowed, or yeah, I've heard a few people say like they've had like sort of hand-me-downs of that as well. So I think, oh, okay. yeah, just to cover off the blue oh, and yeah. the borrowed. But um, or it could be like made of some fabric of like your grandmother's dress or whatever oh, that yeah, kind of thing. Nice like just yeah. to sort of yeah have that sort of nod to people and things. So, so just a little quick round up there of like the different styles. We hope you like some of the ones that we've put up for you. Do check out our Pinterest board that has all of those in as well. Uh, the link to that is below in the description box. Mm -hmm. But yeah, please subscribe and let us know what other videos you'd like to see from us and what things you're interested in. But otherwise, I hope you uh, find yourself a nice garter. <laughs>